Hello there, Edgy here with another video for you where I'm going to show you a video of power scaling and this guy is talking about it before I get my overall thoughts on it, but that's what the video is about. Well, this video that is, but I'm going to show you the video of another content creator who talks about it. So. Alright, I'm going to say this because no one else about to fucking say it. But power scaling definitely ruined the anime community and that's just fucking cap. The shit is not even funny anymore. I remember debating about certain anime characters that would never fucking fight in fucking history because it's made by different people. It was just straight hypothetical speaking. The way we date debated, it was like rock, paper, fucking scissors. If one character had the power of fucking paper and another one had a rock, clearly that rock is going to go through the fucking paper. That's just using your common sense on debating. Now it's all made up fucking calculation based off science that don't apply to fucking anime conversation that's leading to like so bro who you got winning between naruto versus luffy well i tell you that naruto is easily multiversal by when he fought kaguya who also multiversal she created dimensions so the fact that he can de defeat her um he's easily multiversal but what about luffy he literally can turn anything into rubber it was stated in the show and everything oh no clearly outscales naruto outscales doesn't happen for chapter 972 when the pixel was moving at this hyperbole bro hyperbole uh, before i end this video let me tell y'all about this tiktok sent me this weight uh i know they promote uh videos by putting products in it and tiktok sent me this weight and i forgot to make a video about it it's pretty cool because it comes with an app as well pretty much show your body weight your body fat your water weight etc via the app and it's pretty cool if y'all want to get y'all one of those, go ahead and click the link down below, down in the TikTok shop. Thank you. Okay, you watch that? I mean, sometimes I do get to uh, debates about it. People say, oh, it's a problem in the anime community. They act like they talk to all them, but hey, that's just part of the fandom. I mean, I might see Goku fight um, Superman. Hey, I'm a both. I like comics and anime. So, and what about Goju for Kakashi? That or other characters who um, ha has more power than other. I, I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I know some people don't like it because it's cringe and it's pointless. But if you're a fan of anime or any fandom and you pit characters against each other, then that's 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 how it is. It's what it is. You might see me the crossover game. Oh yeah, also, um, people post some videos about it, it depends on the person who is very powerful, I know some certain characters, characters are powerful in anime and some not, uh, and some are OP, like say Saitama like from One Punch Man can knock, one, knock, one, um, knock out a person with one punch, but that's just um, me, my PLO. They did all their all the fits about it. It's 50-50. It's 50. like a seesaw. Some people are enjoy power scaling, and others don't. So yeah, but this is just a short video of my overall opinion about it. I mean, I don't mind it. As long as you talk about anime without being toxic, I'm cool with you. You know, I, I'm not talking about power scaling and talking about different series and et cetera, et cetera. So thank you, thank you for watching, and thank you for supporting my channel as well, most definitely. I'm about to get to 500, and goodbye.